I'm Matt Christensen from Urban Farmer Restaurant in Portland, Oregon. And today we're going to be making a recipe using a cast iron skillet. Cast iron skillets are, are very heavy. They're made of straight um, iron. They need to be seasoned really well so that the product doesn't stick in them. But once they're seasoned, they're your best friend. They hold heat really, really well. So we've got this one really hot. What we're going to do today is we're going to make beef bourguignon. Um, it's a little, it's a quick version of it. it. Doesn't need to simmer very long because we're using a chuck tender. It's a very tender cut of meat coming from the shoulder. Um, what we're going to start with is seasoning the meat liberally with salt and black pepper on both sides. Once it's seasoned, we're going to toss it in just a little bit of flour. The flour not only is going to help it um, brown nicely, but it's also going to help thicken the sauce later. So just a little bit on all sides, and that'll go straight into the pan then. Hot canola oil. The pan recovers its temperature very, very quickly uh, because of its density. And so everything browns in it at a very fast rate. Once the beef started browning on all sides, I've got the top and the bottom done. We're going to add some mushrooms to it. The mushrooms will want to caramelize as well. We can put those on the other side of the pan. Everything's very, very evenly heated on this pan because of its um, thickness. After the mushrooms brown, we're going to add some carrots. I like to add the carrots first because they have a lot of sweetness and they'll caramelize as well. Um, the onions will go in last because they take the least amount of cooking. All these vegetables and, and the steak are creating um, a fond on the bottom. It's basically meaning that there's a little bit sticking to the pan. So what we're going to do next, after we add our onions here, is add a little bit of tomato paste. This tomato paste will stick to the bottom and caramelize along with all the rest of the vegetables. called pinsage. We're going to do pinsage the tomatoes, the paste. When that starts to darken. We're going to add some red wine to it, bourguignon. Mm. I'm going to add some verju to it, which will give it acid. As it's simmering, we're going to add some thyme and bay leaf. All this moisture is pulling that flavor from the caramelized meat off the bottom of the pan. The moisture is also simmering the vegetables to be a little bit of tender, cooking the beef the rest of the way through. We're going to add some beef stock. Verjus is unfermented wine, so you get the acid uh, from the grape of the wine, uh, but you don't get the alcohol burn. So since we've used a nice chuck tender, I said a uh, beautiful piece of meat, doesn't have to simmer for very long. We just pull those flavors from the meat. You have a nice beautiful little stew that we've made with all of our pan sauce. It's thickened nicely for a little bit from that flour that we had there. Finish it with a couple fresh tomatoes, and you're ready to go. And this has been a recipe using a cast iron skillet. Thank you for watching.